Hi, this is Dave of L. David Likes Photography, and um, I'm going to go over Windows Live Photo Gallery 2011. Was uh, researching information, uh, specifically video on how to use it. It's pretty intuitive, but uh, it doesn't seem to be a lot on uh, Microsoft's website. So I uh, decided to make uh, this little video series. Uh, it's not everything, just some tips. And uh, but I think it's uh, enough to get you to to know how to use the program. And I made it mostly for my uh, friends that just shoot with their point point and shoot uh, point and shoot cameras and just want to use uh, some basics and not want to learn a lot. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and go down to the start and uh, click on Windows Live, and it uh, opens the organizer. And um, one of the nice, uh, the first nice features about this um, is uh, it, it'll view all pictures. I mean, I don't care what uh, format, file format the pictures are in, and videos. Uh, it'll uh, it'll view those. And um, if you have a specific raw uh, camera files, like I have Canon um, raw files. Uh, Sometimes editing programs will not read them. Well, this will read them, and if not, you can download uh, plugins to help you read them. So it's a, that's one of the great features of this free program. And um, okay, so um, you can click on individual folders to view uh, pictures in that, and uh, it's a one-click deal, which I like because uh, I use uh, Photoshop, and you have to double-click on each folder uh, to view all your pictures. And you have to go down through each folder or directory, whichever you want to call them. One of the nice features about this is if you click on all photos and videos and you come over the scroll bar, you do not have to click on any of the individual directories. And you can just scroll down through everything and see all your pictures that you have in the pictures folder, which is a great time saver. And it's great when you're not sure what kind of picture you want to get. Um, Another thing I just want to add here on uh, viewing pictures is that um, if you come up to uh, if you go up to the uh, view and I, I forgot to mention this when I was in the view uh, uh, section of the video, but if you click on date, um, it will uh, show you what pictures are done on such and such date. So you can scroll down on those. Um, and uh, that's a that's a really nice nice feature to be able to look on on those. Um, and if you come over to find and you click on dates, you can you can click on it'll tell you uh, what date you did what pictures. Like uh, you know June seventh, I, I went to a seminar and took these pictures here of uh, of a high school senior. So it's got every date of pictures of what you did on what date, which is a really nice feature for dates. So you can do it by month, you know, what pictures you took, or by years. So that's in the find feature and also in the view feature. Um, but anyway, getting back to home and uh, in, in viewing the pictures. Okay, so one of the things with the pictures is um, Windows Live Photo Gallery assumes that you have put all your pictures in the pictures, my pictures folder. Now, if you haven't done this, uh, you may not be able to see the pictures in those folders. So what you need to do is come up to this little arrow uh, feature up here on top and click on include folder. For example, um, I have a few images on my desktop and video. Um, so so I click on 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 add folder and then over here I click additional add because I'm looking for desktop. I click on desktop and then I click include folder and I click OK. And now you can see down here that it has pulled in the desktop folder so you can uh, you can view those images as well. If for some reason that you got too many folders uh, in your organizer or something you don't want to see, you can right click on that folder. Now this one we just added, 
So if you right click on desktop, it'll actually say remove from the gallery. So you click on that and it'll say, are you sure you want to rem remove it? It says it's not going to get rid of the images or the folders. It's just going to take it out of the gallery, uh, Windows Live Photo Gallery. You say yes. Okay. And uh, this takes a few few seconds and it'll it'll remove that from the gallery. Okay. Um, okay. So that's the... Uh, the uh, the folders and how to how to see those um, and delete uh, folders um, again um, if you want to get pictures into your uh, into the organizer you come up to the import button and click on that first you would connect say a camera card uh, um, card reader, I should say, or you know, directly from your camera if you want to. You want, and if I had some Im images to upload, it would automatically upload those into Windows Live Photo Gallery, and it would save them. It would create a directory and save them to that directory. So that's uh, that's how you get them in. Um, and um, okay, as far as uh, moving around, and and if you want to copy and paste. Um, for example, um, I have this particular image in another, this image here is in also in the retouch. So if I wanted to delete that, I would just right click it and click delete and that will actually delete it out of that uh, directory. Um, if I go back to the directory that's in, it's this picture right down here. Um, I click on it do a right click. I could either do copy here or I could come up and do copy up here um, on the toolbar. I go back, click on the, um, the retouch directory and then I can come up and just on the toolbar and click paste uh, and it'll paste that image in. So that's how you can um, copy and paste images if you want to, if I want to do a series of pictures um, then I click on the first one, click on the last, and hold down the shift key, and um, say and do uh, say a copy of those images, and then I can go to say retouch, and do a paste up here. I can just do a right click and paste, okay, and that'll copy the four images into that other directory. And you can do this with directories as well if you want to move a copy and move a directory, and then you could delete the old directory. Now I'm gonna. I'm going to delete all these, um, and I just uh, I've selected them all. I'm going to right-click and say delete. Say yes. Re takes them to the recycle bin. I'm going to delete this one as well, and it moves it to the recycle bin uh, on your desktop. Um, okay, and that's kind of how you move around. Now you can drag if you want to move. Which you know, if I wanted to move this image uh, to another one, I could just drag it to the seminar and it would actually move it out and put it in here. Um, you know, I have to find it. <laughs> I don't know what I did with it. Uh, it's in here somewhere. But um, let's say uh, I just wanted to copy one. Uh, say I wanted to copy, um, well, let's do the same image. I want to copy it. Without doing the copy, you can actually uh, hold down the Control key and drag it back to, to the retouch. Okay, and you go and retouch, it's copied that. You come back here, it's still in here as well. So there's a couple different ways you can uh, copy or move directories. Uh, I would say the safest way is to do a copy uh, and paste and then delete the old image if you want to, you know, move them. That's a safe way to do it. Um, okay, so let's say on this particular image, well, actually I want to pick one. Um, let's pick one of me. Yeah, I think I'm going to pick this one. Um, if you want to um, uh, see the image in large, you double click on it. And that gives it in the large view. You can uh, zoom by this little uh, slider bar down to the bottom of the screen. And that will uh, make it enlarge it or make it smaller. Um, and then just with this little hand tool, your mouse, you can scroll around drag around on the image uh, if you want to see uh, you know if you want to see the particular area of it and then to close the image 
you would just hit this uh, red X up at the top here uh, to close it. And um, you can mouse over in the organizer these images and it'll enlarge them a little bit. Or if you want to, you can make this little scroll or this, uh, yeah, this little scroll uh, dial. You can actually make them enlarge that way. Now, when I mouse click on the image, it won't enlarge it. But if you have them small or, say, really small, and you can't really see them, but now you just move your mouse over them and enlarge them so you can see what the pictures are. And that's a nice way to get a lot of images on the, uh, in the, uh, on the view screen so you can, you can pick the image you want right away. Um, and so um, that's uh, pretty much it on how to get around the, uh, the organizer. Uh, I have other videos on uh, how to do other things. So be sure and check those out as well. So that's it. I'm Dave, L. David Likes Photography. Thanks for watching.